will charge back back The genius sisters use them like a lab rat A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom but The boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark Mega action game controller skating in the park A feral booster bling bling What do we make of this? Johnny Test Johnny Test This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test Johnny Test Johnny Test This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test the act, Johnny, and you're not getting that toy. You begged me for every one of those snap-together robots and play sets, which were sold separately. Uh, I'm fading. Must have toy. Uh, tell Mom I love her. Uh. And you never even built the mega robotical that you said you would die without. Yeah, and the problem is? No more toys until you finish building and playing with that one. You got it? Well, that should keep him busy. Now can we go to the toy store? Well, I said you had to play with the toy. <laughs> uh, for three hours! Uh, it's impressive, but it's lacking the real robot action, isn't it? You thinking what I'm thinking? Steak? Because I think about steak. A lot. Or trees. Oh, were you thinking about sniffing other dogs? No. To my sister's lab! Forget it, Johnny. We will not give your dumb toy real robot action. We have more important things to do, like affecting the fuller lip lozenge. While sucking on it, your lips become fuller and more kissable. I'll test the lip thing if you give Mega here super robot action. We, we were, were hoping, hoping you'd say that. I can tell you right now, unless you're a giant carp, those lips are not kissable. Okay, so now you have to give my robotical super robot action. Try not to talk until the swelling goes down. But... Please, it's really gross. We've rigged your childish toy with over 300 points of articulation and electro sensors, which officially qualifies it as having super robot action. So, bye. Yeah, not really your best work, is it? What? We're just saying that the robot action isn't really super, is it? Not super? We could bring that stupid thing to life if we wanted to. But we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Don't see it, don't believe it. Later. Three, two, one. Stop! You want super robot action? We'll show you super robot action. Get that thing back to the lab now! We call it the Static Animator. It brings inanimate objects, toys, spoons, your brain, to life by activating their molecular structure and loading them with artificial intelligence. Observe. Hey, beautiful. How'd you like to come to my beach house and oh Forget it, you plastic-haired, sweater-over-the-shoulder loser. <laughs> <laughs> now make it work on this. I am Mega Robotical, protector of the universe. Awesome! I must defend the Robotical Union from evil. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But first, let's have some fun.
<laughs> Remember, Dad, a deal's a deal. Awesome! Now to turn him on and watch his super robot action. Mega Robotical, destroy Nysteria and keep the universe free from his terror. Well, that was extra lame. It stunk. We need a real battle. A battle worthy of our long toy assembly time. No, don't do it. Do not go to the lab and animate that toy. Come on. We had fun with Mega Robotical all day. If we animate Nysteria, we'll just have more fun. <laughs> This is more fun. Lethal and destructive, but fun! <laughs> yeah! Johnny, did you... Did you use the static animator without our permission? No. I will destroy you, Mega Robotical, then destroy this world. Okay, maybe a little. But don't freak. Mega Robotical can totally stop Mysteria and return peace to Pork Belly. Uh, is it me, or does that thing on his back look discouraging? Well, now the SWAT team will stop. I meant the Air Force will stop. Yeah, but now those super secret agent guys will show up with a cool weapon and totally defeat Nysteria. Okay, we're duped. Okay, now I got nothing. Look! Mega Robotical is still trying to defeat Nesteria! Well, he's got guts, but not enough power to beat Nesteria by himself! We need to build the most awesome Turbo Toy Force in the history of the universe to help him! Let's go! Your chew toy? What? It's got spikes and a menacing bell inside. <laughs> Cry, baby. Not exactly the super turbo toy force I was looking for. We'll, we'll make, make some, some adjustments. Nasteria, I'm here to stop your reign of terror once and for all. <laughs> you and what army? <laughs> Those are some tough toys. Super hold, mega hairspray, power pump, go! Get him, chew toy! Super Toy Force saved us! Yay! I have to say, they make an amazing superhero turbo toy team. And now that peace is restored, we must go off into the universe to keep it safe and protect it from evil. I can't help it. You're the ultimate chew toy. <laughs> turbo Toy Force, away! So, what should we do with this? And why are you returning it? It's too dangerous. Do you have a receipt? Of course. I don't. Then you can exchange it for something of equal value. So what do you want? You never learn, do you? No, he doesn't! Well, good. I see you're all following your instruction sheet perfectly. This. 
Except Mr. Tess. From now on, I am to be called Fazlorn from Deep Space! Well, Lazworm, no paper airplanes in my class! You could poke someone's eye out! That's impossible. Look! Oh, my eye! That was a freak accident. Watch. Oh, my other eye! Well, since you're so interested in deep space and flight, you now owe me a ten-page report on the moon! And it better be good or you'll be spending the next month in detention! Well, perhaps this bag of super hot ranch flavored nacho blasters might change your mind. You can't resist. You're right, I can't. But I still want your report by tomorrow. How can I write a report about a place I've never been? Well, you could research the internet, watch a documentary, or open a book. Or I could ask my super science sisters to build me a spaceship, fly to the moon, and then write a report so amazing that Mr. Teacher Man's head will fall off or something. There's always that option, yes. Well, it took one week of intensive labor, but we finally finished our very first spaceship. What should we call it? Ours. We're commandeering a spaceship in the name of the government. Forget, Forget it. it. Come on, please. Please. <sighs> what happened this time? It all started when we happened upon a crash site. We must deliver this alien spaceship to headquarters at once. Agreed. But let's grab some lunch first. I'm starving. Agreed. But when we returned, the craft had mysteriously disappeared. We already told the General about the ship, and if we don't deliver it today, we'll be fired. And forced to give back these cool suits. <sighs> what if we gave you our newly designed cloning ray that could create duplicates of Lover Boy so each of you could have one? Deal. It's yours. Excellent. We must deliver this spaceship to headquarters at once. But first, let's grab another lunch. I'm still hungry. Susan, Mary, I need you to build me a totally cool spaceship! Awesome! Uh, Johnny, don't you think you should at least ask your sisters if it's okay to take it? I'll take that as a no. Whoa! Oh, oh. Did you see that? On the moon, I'm like a superhero! The reason you can jump so high is because our bodies are lighter on the moon due to its low gravitational pull. Hey, put that in your report! Nah, let's see if the moon has tacos. Moon seems to be void of tacos. Mm-hmm. This report is gonna rock! Mm. The moon is very bouncy and very ugly and has... has empty bags of super hot ranch-flavored nacho blasters? <laughs> you may want to add licked clean to that report. Lick clean. Report done. Let's get back to... Our spaceship. It's gone. Somebody stole our spaceship! Hey, who would take somebody's spaceship without asking? Besides me. Ah! Aliens! No, we're the captains of the first Canadian moon launch, eh? Ah! Canadians! Our ship was stolen too, so I'm afraid we're all stuck on the moon together. I am Charles Farm, and this is my talking dog, Dookie. We come from Sector 12. Cool. We suspect the ships have been taken by a strange race of aliens who live on the dark side of the moon, eh? Aliens? What do they look like? Oh, we have no idea. It's really dark over there. How many are there? Again, it's very dark. It's hard to count when you can't see, eh? You found our super hot ranch flavored nacho blasters. The aliens ate them all. They ate our nacho blasters, eh? Gee, what kind of sick, twisted race of aliens are they? I think it's time to find out. Great, tell us how it goes. We're afraid of the dark, eh? So, what do you think? <clears throat> we were hoping you could make one a little, I don't know, bigger? It's not our fault Johnny stole the first one. You said you wanted a spaceship, and here it is. Build us a big spaceship, a no cloning Gilray. And remember, if we get fired because we can't deliver a spaceship, then we'll have nothing to do but hang around with you guys. One big spaceship coming up. Boy, they don't call it the dark side of the moon for nothing. Look! Our spaceship! And the Canadian spaceship! Which will be blasting off very soon. Uh, how did you know that? I didn't say that. I did. Ah! And we're out of here! 
Too bad I'm done with my report. The Buttheads would have made an excellent chapter. We're chained to the dark side of the moon! Well, let's see how the moonsies like living on the bright side. Hold me. Eh? You used up all the fuel! See why they like to live in the dark. What's that? Plans for our search and destroy mission. We are going to search the Earth for every single bag of super hot ranch flavored nacho blasters, then destroy the Earth. And now that you know, you must be destroyed. Uh, we didn't know the secret plan until you told us. We can't read Moonsy, you know. Sorry, but that's what you get for entering the dark side. Get them! Is it me, or are those guys like totally not scary? Release the Cosmic Nasty Blast. <laughs> oh. Cosmic Nasty Blast, what do you guys eat? Super hot ranch flavored nacho blasters. Why do you think we want more of them? Here, I can't smell these buttheads anymore. Let's get them! But there are so many of them! Remember, Dookie, on the moon, we're superheroes! We'd like to kick some butt, eh? Oh, too late, bummer. You defeated us, but can you defeat the Mega Moonsies? Oh, didn't see that coming, eh? Johnny, this isn't the time to work on your report. No, but I just remembered something I learned in science today. Get the flame-headed boy! Ah! Test, test, test! Johnny, test! Ah! 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 We did it! We won! Oh, but I just threw away the best darn report I ever wrote. Sadly, that's true. Let's take the Canadian ship! Flaming headed Earth boy! We will have our revenge! Ooh, a bag of super hot ranch flavored nacho blasters. Darn it. Clean. Great. Mr. Black and Mr. White are gonna be here any minute and we don't have a spaceship for them. Which means no cloning ray and no matching gills. Here we are, Vancouver, eh? You stole our spaceship, ruined our lab! Great job, girls. We love it. We've got your cloning race, so you can make as many gills as you want. <sighs> we were hoping they'd be a little, I don't know, bigger? I know we said we'd help you with your report for saving us, but how long does it have to be, eh? Until I get an A. Keep riding. 